Hello. Hello, Megan. Rafael, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How have you been? Yeah, very good, thanks. Okay. So, let's see, you have a short lesson today, so do you just want to have some free conversation or is there something specific you want to work on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just I'd like to, to, to talk if, about, yeah, whatever. I have a text here and I'd like to read this text uh, for you, you know. And Perfect. I'd like to train in my accent, you know. I'd like okay. to, to, to be more specifically when I am reading or when I am speaking, you know. Um, okay. Okay. So as okay. you speak, I'll type some things in the chat box, but just ignore it and we'll review at the end, okay? Okay, 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 no problem. Okay, it's a, it's a small, small text, you know, but it's very interesting. Okay, go ahead. Uh, here is the deal. Here is the deal. I'm going to fix your coffee machine and you are gonna make my coffee and call me a tax. Uh, no tax in Jericho. Jericho is a city, maybe. Uh, try Uber. Uh, I don't have a phone. I refuse to be a slave to technology. Then you are out of luck. Where, where are you going anyway? Uh, that's on a need-to-know basis. What about train? Train? Trains? Uh, nearest, 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 how, I don't know, pronounce this word. Nearest, nearest. Nearest, nearest, nearest station is Burlington. It's, it's half, it's half an hour away. Uh, you have a value issue. I've seen it before. Can you? Can, can, it's done. It's done. Okay. Uh, can you understand my text? I can. Yes. So, are you Brazilian? Yes, I am Brazilian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Brazilian accent's very specific. Yes. But no, everything was understandable. But you know what Brazilians do at the end of the words? They always add like an e sound when it's not necessary, right? It's the end of the sound that usually is confused for mm -hmm. Brazilians. So for example, the first word in my list is specifically, specifically. So it has a Lee sound at the end. This one, you have to add the sound. Perfect. Specifically, specifically. Good. Mm -hmm. The next one has two vowels in the middle, but you have to remember in English, we don't separate vowels. Like in Portuguese and Spanish and Italian, you separate vowel sounds. But in English, we put it together. So the second word is deal, deal. Deal, deal. 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 And it rhymes with this word, meal or feel. They all have rhyming sounds. Deal, meal, feel. But how, how I said I think you separate you separate a little bit like dia dial ah, like okay. two syllables but it should be one syllable. Okay, okay. Deal, meal, feel. Okay. Exactly. Okay. This is really common with all Latin languages because of just how you pronounce vowels differently. You want to separate them and we don't. Okay, perfect. The next word, I think you just said cough, but it's coffee. 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 Perfect. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. The next one I put in the phrase, call me a taxi, taxi. Call me a taxi. Perfect. Right, not just tax, but taxi. The taxi. I makes an E sound for some reason. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, slave, right? Like, I won't be a slave, slave. Slave. And the last one was one that you asked about, which is two syllables, nearest, nearest. Nearest, nearest. Okay. Right. But everything was understandable. It's not like your accent made me go, what is he saying? Everything was understandable. But if you want specific points, those would be the words. Okay, it's cool. So this text uses uh, simple words, you know. I understood yeah. very well the text, you know. But yeah, I know that I know that is my my accent is is strong because I, I listened to uh, a video from a Brazilian guy this week, and his English is very American, you know? It's mm. very cool because it's very different of the Brazilian English. Brazilian English, 
uh, has a strong accent and I realize when Brazilians are talking, you know? Yeah, it's true. I think, I think you have to always try to flatten your sounds because Brazilians want everything, Italians as well, everything sounds like a song, but English is flatter. We don't, you put intonation where we don't, we keep it flat. I think that's what makes the accents. But I, I know you want to have like an American accent, but the important thing is you understand English and you can speak it. The, the accent is, if anything, it shows you know another language, right? I mean, the focus is to be able just to speak fluently and understand everything. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. It depends of your level, for example, or what's the situation. For example, when I am travel, make, maybe it's, it's, it's not, it's the, don't, don't care, you know, but for example, if you need to use your English to work, you know, to speak yeah. with some people in a call or business call, you know, it's very important. And I am feeling this kind of thing, you know, uh, I need to, to, to improve my grammar and I need to improve my accent to, to speak with more, how can I say? Yeah, more, more business situation, you know? Yeah. Do you listen to a lot of American television and movies? Yes, movies more, you know, but yeah, when I am, when I am listening or when I am watching some movies, it's very difficult to understand, you know, because the, the Americans speak very fast and they using <laughs> a lot of slangs and yeah. the world is, how can I say, the world is together, you know, is... Yeah, can like contractions, a lot of contractions, yeah. Yes, and they use a lot of modal verbs, yes, modal verbs also yes, yeah get off get out blah, blah, blah. And it's 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 very i don't know how you learned it you know because probably you didn't remember you know but of it's course. it's very difficult to you assimilate these kind of things get out get off and uh, yes mm. and so one you know the, the i i need to memorize this kind of uh, yeah, verb. these are called phrasal verbs. Yeah, phrase, phrasal phrase, verbs. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Yes, perfect. Yeah, there's a lot, like thousands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And yeah. I need to memorize because there is no meaning, you know, there is no meaning just reading to, to translate, you know. Exactly. You need, to, you need to study before and memorize this kind of uh, phrasal verbs, you know. Yeah. I mean, if you Google most common phrasal verbs, it'll probably give you a list of 50 that you really, really need to know. And mm -hmm. then some of them are so advanced that you would not use them unless you are a professor or something. Um, but yeah, phrasal verbs are difficult because there's no translation usually. Yeah, exactly. I, have, I have done this, you know, I read, I, I researched on Google and tried to memorize uh, each one yeah. of them, but it's very difficult, you know, because uh, I I always forget uh, uh, use these words in a meeting, yeah. you know, because you need to think very fast to think very fast to use, you know. Okay, but what about my what about my grammar to talk to talk, you know, to to talk with? Yeah, I don't hear any grammar mistakes right now. Everything sounds fine for now. How are you at past? Can you speak in the past very well? Like if I ask you, what did you do last weekend? Perfect. How would you answer that? So, uh, for example, last week I spoke with a China guy, you know, in a meeting. And it was a crazy meeting in my life, the, the most crazy meeting in my life, you know, because one of them is two Chinese guys. It was two Chinese and guys, Chinese guys. And one of them uh, didn't speak English very well. The, the accent is very, 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 very soft, very strange, you know. And I needed to pay attention a lot, you know. And yeah. It's very bad because I lost the line of the conversation. Can you understand? Yeah, yeah. 
But mm. yeah, I, I, I do I do Cambly three times a week. But yeah, here on Cambly is is normal, you know, because probably you use software soft words with me or easy words exactly. with me, you know. And yeah, I realize it, you know, it's very different when I am talking with you or when when I am talking with Cambly professors and when I am in a meeting, you know, it's okay. very, very different, you know. Yeah. You know, I would recommend finding a TV show more than a movie to watch if you can, because it makes sense, right? A movie is two hours. This is a long time to focus. A TV show can be 20 minutes. And for 20 minutes, you can focus on the meaning a lot more. So like I study Spanish, I've studied Spanish forever. Mm -hmm. And I usually watch TV shows in Spanish, not movies, because Perfect. for two hours, my brain explodes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But, but what, if you find a TV show. What kind of TV shows in English I need to, you, you, you suggest me? Yeah, I mean, it depends what you like. I recommend a lot uh, How I Met Your Mother. Have you heard of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind mm -hmm. of like Friends, but more modern. Uh, it's very short episodes. Friends, I think, is too old. The jokes are old, and it's not funny. Okay. Uh, but How I Met mm -hmm. Your Mother. A lot of students like Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. I do not like this show, but there are a lot of episodes and it's very popular internationally. People really like it. Perfect. Yes, the, the guy of Big Bang Theory speaks very fast, you know. <laughs> yeah, and they talk about science and things like this. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I like to I like to watch Big Bang Theory, you know, but the the, the guys over there speak very, very fast, you know. But yeah. maybe how how I met your mother is 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 most uh, understandable, you know. Maybe yeah, it's about a group of friends and they're all dating and they live in New York City. Yeah, the yeah. thing is, you just have to train your ear. It's difficult in the beginning, but the longer you do it, the better it gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah you 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 have sure because what what I am feeling is that I need to understand, you know. If I understand, if I understand a uh, meeting, okay, I am safe because <laughs> yeah, I can respond uh, on my way, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. I, I need to. I know that listening or understand uh, understanding a meeting is maybe eight percent of the conversation, you know, or seven percent of the conversation. Yeah, that's true. And you should try listening without subtitles. No subtitles in English, no subtitles in Portuguese, definitely not. Because if it's subtitles, you are reading, only yeah, yeah, reading, perfect. and reading is easy. <laughs> yes, yes. I always, I always turn on subtitles, you know, and yeah, when I am, when I am watching using subtitles, I understand uh, maybe eight or nine percent, nine percent of the, the, the movie, you know. But uh, without subtitles, maybe without subtitles, maybe 50%, you know? Yeah. But you should try because really, if it's subtitles, it's reading only. It really does not improve listening hardly at all, the studies have shown. Perfect. And what about your, your Spanish? Yeah, it's pretty good. I live in Spain, so that helps. But I am an English teacher in Spain, so I spend a lot of time in English. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Because I speak Spanish too. I, I speak my, my my native language is Portuguese, of course, but I span I speak Spanish too. You know, I understand very good Spanish. You know, because right, it's very yeah. similar of, of Portuguese. But the opposite isn't the same. You know. Exactly. That's what <laughs> I heard, which is really interesting. Yeah. It's very mm. interesting. Uh, you went to Barcelona in 2019, I know. And yes, I understood everyone and the opposite isn't the same. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because Portuguese is more like bon. You have like a bon sound to everything. And Spanish people are like, what could it be? We don't understand, you know? Yes, yes. But yeah, it's good. It's good. You could probably learn Italian also. Okay. Okay. It's great speaking with you. Okay. And I'd like to, to thank you. And All right. Will... Well, take care. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend too. Okay, Megan. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take you. care. See you.